Hey there folks, it is Rob. Welcome back to a brand new horror collection video. Now I've talked about this set before in my previous videos when I first got it. And I used some copyright material, I had to take the video down, I'm trying to keep my channel clean of copyright stuff. Um, and you know, there's so many restrictions and, and things where I don't want to have to deal with that stuff. So I would just prefer to just do it bare bones. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to talk about this set again, but a little bit more thorough. And the set is the Paranormal Activity Ultimate Chills Collection. Basically, all of the Paranormal Activity movies on Blu-ray in one box set. Very, very cool. And this set is not even really expensive either. Um, you know, for all the movies that you get, you, you know, plus a bonus disc, you, I mean, that's, I think it's well worth the... The money now there are a lot of people who despise this series and i mean you know some of the movies are just okay uh at best and there are a couple lame ones but you know i don't think it's really a bad like a terrible series there are worse series out there so uh really cool box set as you can see there is a dark silhouette, and I think that is of the demon. I mean, I think that's what they're going for here, but there's kind of like a, like a lenticular like shine to it, uh, which is pretty awesome. And up there, it's got like tape A and tape B, almost like you're watching footage. That's pretty cool. Turn around right here. You can see all the movies displayed where the font is you know down here instead of like maybe in the middle so that's a little bit different and the only one that kind of stands out here is the ghost dimension you can see you can see the disc actually or the the actual case looks different so oh well that's all right then on the uh other side you got the emblem which is the triangle with the circle inside of it. Turn around on the spine here. Uh, you got like basically a security camera that shows um, a silhouette in the in the reflection. So pretty awesome, pretty awesome set, guys. There's nothing on the top or bottom. So let's um, let's take these movies out here, and uh, I'll show you uh, you know what they look like and things like that. I'm gonna pull this out here first. Here we have a uh, a uh, paranormal activity. I think this is like a like a patch or something that you can put on. Uh, it says monitored by PA paranormal activity. So that's that's pretty cool. All right, so let's try to take these out here. All right, so we have the very first movie, and um, I do like these cover arts. They're they're different from the actual first releases of the Blu-rays because all the ones that I have, or, or I mean, I, I should say had, because I got rid of them. The Blu-rays that I had before had slip covers. These do not have slip covers but it's not needed because it's in a box set so um i always love that cover where katie is pointing to the door and there's the silhouette of the demon um and mika's just like huh but um here's the back there's katie standing there like a weirdo um, pretty cool so this includes the theatrical and unrated version. And the insides, you know what I like about this too, this box set, they really kind of like, I don't know, they, they, they really stay true to like all the disc art being the same because it's basically just the blue disc. Um, and then it also has reversible cover art and this is actually what the one looked like before because 
you can see the blue right here. This is what the cover art looks like normally, right? And the font is actually bigger. The text is actually bigger and it's instead of like a blue down there, it's black. So it almost looks like the image is blown up a little bit more. So it has reversible cover. That's pretty awesome. At least it gives you something, you know, and Screen Factory is really good at doing that. But yeah, this is not from them. This is from Paramount. So there is the very first Paranormal Activity movie. Moving on. We have Paranormal Activity 2, and there is the baby in the crib that's looking in the bathroom there. The door is open, and then you have the dog barking, and then you can see a silhouette, something standing there. Paranormal Activity 2, um, I don't know, it just felt like the first movie, but with more cameras. Um, yeah, one of the scariest films of all time. I no, it's it's definitely not. The second one is not scary, really. There are a couple scenes that kind of make you jump sometimes, but it's not scary. I just don't think. Th I think the first one would be scarier, <laughs> in my opinion. But here we have the disc, of course. Uh, let's take the disc out and see what the cover art looks like. Again, pretty much the same as it, the, the first one looked with the black and the picture kind of looks like it's blown up or zoomed in a little bit more so um so yeah that is the second movie and yes it includes the theatrical and unrated okay moving on we have Paranormal Activity 3, and there are the girls sleeping, Katie and Christy, and then there's the silhouette of the demon in the middle of them. Paranormal Activity 3 is not a bad movie. I think it's pretty good. It's set in the 80s, which is pretty cool. Includes the theatrical and unrated, of course, and there's lost tapes as well. Let's uh, prop this baby open. And, of course, we have the blue disc, like the others, and reversible cover art. I like how they just give you, you know, I like how they give you a choice, you know. They give you choices. So, there is part three. All right, so moving on, we have Paranormal Activity 4. You have the girl sleeping there, and there's the shadow. The shadow is in, like, all these. You'll notice a trend in that. I think her name is Catherine Newton. I think that's her name in this movie. I think she's in the new... She actually plays Ant-Man's daughter. Um... Uh, Cassie Lang in um, Ant-Man Quantumania, I believe. There's Katie. Open her up here. And we have the blue disc, of course. Same thing. And there is the other cover art. So. Alright. That is Paranormal Activity 4. Next up, we have the oddball of the series, Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones. This movie wasn't bad. It was different, but theatrical and unrated. It also has found footage there. Open her up. Same disc there. I think this one has. There's also the other one with the skeleton with the hood, but I didn't include that one. I, I, I really like that one. That disc didn't want to even pop in there. The marked ones? 
Then we have Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension 3D. Now, I'm guessing that's why the case looks a little different, a little lighter than the others, because this is the 3D, I guess, just to make it look like the oddball out of the group. And again, we have the theatrical version and the unrated version, but you have Disc 1, which is the 3D. And then the regular Blu-ray is Disc 2. The Ghost Dimension was okay. It's basically a gimmick where you can see the demon with this camera. So you have you have the Blu-ray, which is blue. <laughs> Pretty easy to distinguish. And then you have the 3D, which actually looks... I mean, this is the Blu-ray 3D, but it actually looks like a DVD. <laughs> I mean, it just it does. It looks like a DVD. Um, now, <clears throat> here is the cover art for that. You know, basically, all these cover arts look the same when it comes to the reversals. Like I said, it's just it looks like it's just zoomed in a little bit. And the and like I said, instead of blue down here, it's black. So. And then we have the newest of the bunch, and that is Paranormal Activity Next of Kin, which I really enjoyed about this Amish family, and there's like something going on in this little Amish community. Um, really refreshing to see something new. And the only way to get this Blu-ray is to get the set. Otherwise, you'd have to get the DVD. I know Walmart sold the DVD, I think Best Buy maybe, but the only way to get the Blu-ray is to get this set. So really nice to have this on Blu-ray anyway. Um, very different film. I haven't looked to see what the cover, I'm, I'm assuming it's the same, but here's the blue disc, of course. And then, yeah, there it is, Next of Kin, which, again, it's just blown up. You know, this has the, the, the blue bars. This doesn't have that, and neither do any of the other inserts. I mean, that's that's the that's the difference here. They were trying to go with some kind of theme with all these cases, um, but it's good that you get a choice, you know. So there is what the reversible one looks like. All right, so that is next of kin. So the final thing you get in this box is called The Unknown Dimension, The Story of Paranormal Activity. So basically like a behind the scenes Blu-ray, which is pretty awesome. It has its own case and everything. Talks about the success and what it took to make Paranormal Activity. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. And let's open it up here. And of course, blue disc, look at that. And there is what it looks like, basically zoomed in, just like the other one, but this one zoomed pretty good here. So yeah, guys, that is the Paranormal Activity uh, Ultimate Chills Collection on Blu-ray. Like I said, um, I think this set is worth getting um, just for the fact, like I said, you get every single movie on Blu-ray. You get their own cases, reversible cover art. You get you know, a nice box set. Um, you get Next of Kin on Blu-ray. So I feel like that is definitely worth it, um, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, um, that is my review of the set. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, definitely pick it up if you are interested. So I'll be back with more horror collection videos. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.